I think the car that most guys my age dreamt of growing up was the mighty Corvette. I remember being downtown as a young man and a vet went by and my buddy said, when you see a vet, they're just rumbling along as if to say I'm the baddest cat on the road. Well, I must be dreaming again because there are Corvettes from every year right in front of me gleaming and just rumbling along. They are the baddest cats of all. These beauties belong to the United Council of Corvette Clubs. Anthony Bowling, president of the local Trinsetas Corvette Club, took a minute to tell us about their collection of automotive royalty. We're expecting a lot of cars, as you can see. We got cars from all over, from Indiana, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Detroit, Columbus, Toledo, Ohio, as well as far as Pittsburgh. Uh, last year we had 478 cars and we're looking to double that this year. Yes, this is one of the biggest car shows of this area and the reason why we wanted to do this car show because the first three Corvettes was built right here in Flint and this we call making history. We're bringing all of the Corvette, Corvettes home uh, back to their roots. You know, a Corvette is beautiful. You know, I always seem to think that, you know, it's, it's personal. You know, you personalize your car to your taste, you know, and, and a lot of people have done this. You know, especially Trendsetters Corvette Club, you know, you know, we stand out, you know, um, amongst all of the other Corvette clubs, not only in Flint, but all over because of how we personalize our cars. And wherever we go, people just, you know, just crowd around our cars because we bring something special to a Corvette. And that's why we call it Trendsetters Corvette Club. Flint has a lot to offer, especially during times like this. You know, it's all about, for us, it's all about the Corvette, but for Flint, it's all about the cars, period. So we'd like to invite everybody to come to our city and just see, you know, what we have to offer.